on a sec. Isn't that Wallace up ahead? Looks like he's finally made some friends. I wonder what they're talking about. Norbert, uh, why don't you tell everyone how you were released from jail so quickly? Selling cultural relics and impersonating Silvermane guards are both heinous crimes. Well, it was all thanks to my uncle, you know. Ah, I remember. Your uncle is Minister Noel. He heads up the Department of Transportation, no? <coughs> Uh, yes, you, you knew that too. <laughs> You're shameless, Norbert. Not to be rude, but if I were thrown in jail, I wouldn't possibly ask my father to bail me out. Do you think I wanted to? I'm not the type of person to abuse my status. Well, I don't really know about that. <sighs> Get off my back, will you? I had to deal with hardened criminals in jail. Now that I'm free, my supposed friends are ganging up on me. Looks like things are getting heated. I think we'd better get out of here. to start singing! Woo! Thanks, everyone! Hope you're ready for a great show! Let's get started! Swall! Swall! Heartbeats will shake me So rules can't break me Crank the sound and let your soul be free The lightning strikes right Heartbeats will shake. Come, take a look. <gasps> Mom, can I get one? Line, please. Is that Kayla? Looks like she's teaching the kids again! Next, I'll be introducing the history of the museum. Everyone listen carefully, okay? Bellabog's History and Culture Museum was founded 600 years ago and was originally built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa. Oh, so hungry. I wish I could have a red sunset salmon right now. <clears throat> it was built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa Rand, and also... <gasps> Guess what? I heard there's gonna be a Silvermane Adventure Camp opening in the Overworld soon! It's gonna be super awesome! Also, those who sacrificed their lives in the war against the invaders 700 years ago. Sleep. Enough! From now on, no whispering aloud. If you don't want to have any homework later, you'd better start listening. Sorry, Miss Pela. <sighs> That's better. Uh, <clears throat> now, where was I? Well, I never knew Pela had a strict side. Thought just taking a stroll could be so tiring. Say, I think we should probably pay Branya a visit. After all, she was the one who invited us here. Or we could go check out some other fun. Don't wait for them to get cold now. 
I'm sorry, sweethearts. I'd best see to these other customers before their hunger gets the better of them. Thanks for stopping by. The Supreme Guardian mentioned there'd be mystery guests attending the Soul Warm celebrations, but I didn't think it'd be the Express crew. I hope you had a smooth journey. I should have dispatched Silvermane guards to welcome you on arrival. My apologies. You know what I mean. a visit. After all, she was the one who invited us here. Or we could go check out... I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you, nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. <sighs> Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Urela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. <sighs> you've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the Underworld are... cooperative. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. Everything all right, Branya? I didn't know Miss Topaz was so intense. She seemed nice when we met her. It's good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed, she claims to represent the IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Solmorm Festival. Hmm. Since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago, how the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost, and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo VI. How the original outsider stationed here foresaw the impending disaster, and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. 
The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Yes, I'm afraid so. That's ridiculous! And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the Architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bellabog had survived. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And the interest. The debt owed is an astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were delayed, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Oh, I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Bellabog, not extort it! Right. We need to figure out how to help them. The IPC is too big and powerful. Even if Branya steps in, it'll be hard for her to resolve the situation. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush Bellabog like a bug if they wanted to. I'm glad you're both here. I know you came for the festival, but now... Now... I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the Nameless will always be at their side. After all, this girl here is a pretty good negotiator. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. I apologize for dragging you into Bellabog's affairs again, but when faced with an entity as powerful as the IPC, we need all the external help we can get. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo 6. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they, they sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC, it was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. According to her account, 
The repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IP... Thank you. I believe in you. Oh, hey! I just remembered! Topaz, we might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She's... what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. She's definitely no pushover. 